In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create or make a video like this using Stable Diffusion given an input video. This is going to work based on a technology called pix to pix or a technique called pix to pix So what is pix to pix pix to pix takes an image and then given a prompt, it's going to use everything that it can from the image, but translate it into something what you mentioned. So this is something that we have already covered on this channel. That's called instruction pix to pix You take an image like this, like if you see this, give an instruction and that is going to translate this image into something based on the instruction that you have given. So this is quite well known. It has been there for a week or so and everybody have uh, everybody has been loving it uh, because uh, you can now have the same pose, generate like an anime, um, create a ghost rider with fire, like whatever you want to do it. But somebody took this idea slightly far away to say that, you know what is a video? A video is basically images or frames stitched together. So sometimes you record a video in 30 FPS, 30 frames per second, or sometimes you record a video in 24 FPS, 60 FPS. So technically a video is just a bunch of images stitched together. And what if you can decompose that? Take a video, decompose it into frames, send each frame into a pix to pix model, get the new image that has been created by Stable Diffusion, and then stitch it back and then create a video. And that's exactly what this pix to pix video radio application is doing. And we have got a collab thanks to Kamendru. So we have got a collab notebook that we can use and then play with. If you want to know more about pix to pix I would strongly recommend you to read the paper or the main repository by Timothy Brooks. I've also got a separate video on it, which I'll link it in the YouTube description. But if you're only here for the video, so first I link this repository in the YouTube description, quite helpful. Make sure you start it means a lot to the developer. Then go here and click open the collab, which also I will link in the YouTube description. Once you go to the collab, you would see this collab like this. So this is a very simple collab. All you have to do is start from the top and um, click run all. That's it. Click run all. Before that, if you want, just go click change runtime and then see if you have got GPU accelerator selected. If you know that if you've got GPU accelerator selected, then runtime click run all. Once you click run all, it's ideally supposed to run everything. That's the way this notebook has been uh, created. And then it would also give you a Google collab. Sorry, it will also give you a Gradio link, a Gradio link that you can click and then start doing things like also added information, you can change the code. So you can remove share is equal to true, which will open a Gradio application within your collab. You can you can play with this, like you can play with share is equal to true, inline is equal to true, and uh, that will help you change the way you're going to create the output. But let's say you've got the output, which is the link. Once you click the link, you'll be taken to a very simple web interface here. So let me break down this web interface for you. One, you can give a YouTube video link or a Twitch video link, and then you can download them and then you can have it. Once you have downloaded it, then you can set and the number of seconds, like it doesn't give you the starting seconds, it just gives you the total duration for which you want to cut the video. For example, in my case, I've got a video of 15 seconds and I'm going to cut the video till four seconds. Something that you need to keep in mind is like we discussed at the start, it's going to take the video and then decompose into frames, which means approximately every video is going to be, uh, I think 20 to 30 or 30 frames, technically speaking. So if you have got a four second video, it's 120 images and 120 images are going to be sent inside Stable Diffusion. 120 images are going to be um, collected back from Stable Diffusion model uh, from the decoder, VAE, variable um, autoencoder. And you're going to use that to stitch finally using FFmpeg and then show the image. Uh, so show the video, which means like it's going to take that much of time. So that's something that you need to keep in mind based on the computation you've got, based on the time that you want to spend, keep that in mind. So that's where you cut the video. For reproducibility, you can set the seed value. By default, it's set 69. If you want to change, if you want to have a different look, you can do it. And the most important part is the prompt that you're giving. So the prompt that you give here is going to make a huge difference. Let me actually play this video. This is my input video. Uh, yeah, I just played it till uh, like three, three to four seconds. 
This is a video from uh, I think a very popular series called Breaking Bad. And now I took this video and I gave an instruction. Instruction is quite important for picks to picks. It's not zero shot. You need to give instruction. Make it a name. That's that's all the instruction I give. Make it a name. And then now I'm going to play you the output. Let me try to play both this, this. You can see how well it has done the anime part for this particular character. And you can also try it with the different examples. Um, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant to the fact that you can change this um, prompt in a lot of different ways. Like for example, I can add totally different video. Also, I'm going to show you like probably cases where it doesn't work very well. The reason why sometimes it doesn't work very well is because uh, the prompt matters a lot. Also, the kind of video matters from whatever I have tested. Like if you're going to do it with a human being, if there is only one human, it works quite well. But um, certain images like, you know, long, quite a wide angle shot or a shot where there are multiple people, it at least for me, it has not worked well. So as an advice, what I would suggest you is first try doing a picks to picks instruct picks to picks. I've got a collab notebook, which I can, uh, you can watch my other video. See if the translation happening will, uh, if the translation is happening well, which means like, I mean, the instruction is carried properly and then you get a new image, then you can use that video into this. Um, otherwise you are actually waiting time, waiting for a, you know, compute and all those things. So I'm going to say, make it a name here. Uh, and I'm going to create the picks to picks video. It's, it's a three second video, uh, which means I can go to the collab and then show you what I can show you is you can see that it is trying to finish up. So it's basically made into a 10 frames per second video. Oh, that was a different one. Sorry. That's my bad. Uh, you can see that it is expecting like totally like 25 frames. I'm not sure if this is the one. So it says, uh, FPS is 25. It's going to stop it in 25 and then, um, it's, uh, trying to finish it, um, based on like the time that is there, it says 77 seconds, but it might take more than what, uh, it shows. But the main idea here is that every image, like every image of that video is actually taken and it is sent to the stable diffusion model. Oh, I'm still on a wrong one. Yeah. Every image is taken, sent to the stable diffusion model. And then that is finally uh, shown to you using FFmpeg. Like it's, it's stitched together and then shown to you. And that is how finally you get to see the video. In my case, it says six more seconds. Unfortunately, I made a mistake because the video is three seconds, but I've said I, it's totally four seconds. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to throw an error, but the overall idea is you can upload any video. Uh, in fact, this entire thing has been built um, on uh, top of a hugging face repository. So when you go to the hugging face, oh, this looks good, quite good. So you can see, you can like, yeah, see, uh, that, that's the part, right? So this was quite good. But when the when the camera angle changed, then it didn't go well. So that's something that you need to keep in mind always. And uh, as I was saying, you can go to the hugging face uh, space on which this collab is built. You can see a lot of interesting ideas. Like for example, somebody actually tried to create, like use the fingers and create something. And we all know like, like uh, stable division does fingers quite bad. And people have tried a lot of different things. It's so creative to see the things that people have tried. So we've got these fingers. And this is what people have done. Like it looks like a sci-fi, um, you know, screen. Uh, this this is a good place for you to get a good inspiration about what you want to do. But again, like I said, I would strongly encourage you to first try instruct picks to picks. Look at the picture. If it works out fine, then come back here and then use it. And it's quite good. You can also download from Twitch or YouTube. You can literally go to uh, any video like this, like I'm watching this one, like you can go here, copy the link like this, come back and, uh, paste it here and then say download from YouTube. And it's going to download from YouTube. Again, everything is going to take time. So it's going to download from YouTube. Then once you click 
generate pix to pix video then that's the time it's going to move the video into frames then send it to stable diffusion get it back from decoder and then stitch them together and then display this amazing amazing content that uh, you would like it and uh, yeah that's it it's, it's very simple to use and uh, i found it really interesting to try with if you have got any question let me know in the comment section otherwise all the required links will be in the youtube description once again thanks to cam and drew for making this amazing collab i enjoyed it see you in the next video happy prompting